totally not due to the overload of the suitcase. It's like totally insane and what is crazy in Spain like or they make like really like small street park or like they really make big skate parks actually it's like again three different skate parks just put together it's called uh, Golden Ball Skate Park so uh, Bolo de Oro Skate Park and this is going to be a bit of a special session probably the last session with my actual deck probably the last session with my actual look uh, shoes probably the last session before going to scooters I'm kidding okay let, let, let's just skate <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this session was a huge mess, but I'm going to explain you exactly why there's three precise reasons. The first reason, and it represents 80% of why it was like that, it's just that, well, today I suck. I mean, it happened, skateboarding didn't happen in a long time, but today was just, I, I was not good, that happens. Then, other percent also is that I try to minimize my sleep to have the time to do more things so I try to sleep just 5 hour 30 instead of 6 and <laughs> uh, no the last 10% are the shoes I love my Puma suede I truly love them and they're good to make like 5 or 8 kilometers a day but not what the heck is going after all more 15 or 20 kilometers a day and my feet look doesn't look like feet anymore just like two pieces of meat and I also have like two cuts in my left feet in my left foot try to protect them but yeah Actually, the next morning yesterday, I was really, really too tired to do some uh, golden hour exploring, so I focused more on work. Right now, I can tell you it's so comfortable, so so comfortable. You have to know it's the first non-skater pair of shoes that I buy in in eight years. Probably, I'm going to show you one of the most iconic thing here in Granada. It's actually why does cars so loud? It is one of the most iconic things here in Granada, but also one of the most iconic things in Spain. And if we believe TripAdvisor, probably one of the most amazing things on Earth. And we are not walking in the right direction. <laughs> out of the camera like that and, and I don't know well basically I couldn't see the Alhambra which is like the thing to see when you're in Granada because nobody told me but you have to book your ticket uh, at least one month before because um, the main attraction in the Alhambra because there is many attraction but it is a place that cannot 
take more than 300 people an hour. So the tickets are yeah sold out pretty easily. So that's my tip if you want to go there. And that's why we didn't went there. And so on this guys, this is the end of the Granada vlog. I actually had a very interesting topic. I still have it, but I'm going to do a full other video about it. I actually lost 45 minutes trying to do one video with the two subject, but it just doesn't go together. But I think you're really, really going to like it. So on this, guys, yeah, maybe just a few words. Granada is a very lovely place, and it's very. I don't know, you really feel like at home, it's not too big, not too small and the landscape is just amazing, so I definitely advise it. Yeah, see you on this guys, see you very soon, be stoked for the video to come and take care.